Here comes a nice boat. She's called Goodway. She's 55 feet long. She was built by Liverpool Boats in 2003, and she's a cruiser stern. She was last blacked in 2020, but that was uh, bitumen over epoxy two pack. I'm not quite sure how that works and when that'll next be due. She's been serviced every six months, last done in March 2023, and she's been the Liverpool home of her current owners for the last five years, so she's tried and tested from that point of view. 750 watts of solar power on the roof. Up there, you can see those. Nice big windows. The paintwork's in reasonable condition. There's a roof box there, for storing bits and pieces. There's a cratch cover over the well deck. There's a stainless steel water tank under the well deck there and two gas bottles in the forward locker. The well deck itself is three foot seven inches long and there's a Sort of bench seat across the front of it here. That's got storage underneath that uh, seat. Glazed cratch board. He's currently using it for odds and sods, really, I suppose. Glazed front doors. I always like those. Makes the front cabin a bit lighter. And then we go. She's fitted out in oak face ply with oak trim. Into the saloon. The saloon is just over 10 feet long. Head height on the boat, six foot six. All the lights on board are LED apart from uh, a couple in the bedroom and one in the kitchen. There's a two seater couch there with an Ottoman type footstool stroke another seat. The stove is an Arrow Beckton multi fuel stove. Storage under here. There's a television aerial point above the shelf there, and there's a stereo. It's a Philips CD radio car stereo thing there's a usb point and a 12 volt plug there as well by the stereo cupboards under the gunnels here now there are shelves behind this box but in this box which is freestanding it can come out and go there's a twin tub washing machine and bookshelves behind that this couch does make up into a cross single berth so there's another single berth there that ottoman stool moves round and makes the base complete across the width of the boat this dinette has got storage underneath it. This turns into a spare double bed. I've measured that at six foot three inches long. Pullman style dinettes, there's a bit of storage underneath. All very practical, I think, the Liverpool arrangements. And that's the view down the dinette and saloon. In between the dinette and the galley, there's this usual cupboard above the Galley worktops, star uh, side hatch on the starboard side opposite the sink, a couple of drawers and cupboards underneath that. And the galley itself has everything you'd need really. Plenty of storage. Little cupboard there. The uh, Cooking facilities, it's a vanette gas oven and grill and hob, four burner gas hob, stainless steel sink. This horseshoe arrangement's pretty typical of Liverpool boats. Cupboards and drawers in between the two cupboards there. And the fridge is a shoreline 12 volt fridge, it has an ice box at the top. That's the galley. Oh, I didn't mention the uh, size. Seven feet long, the galley. Down the corridor, there's a good size wardrobe here. Floor to ceiling, well, nearly floor to ceiling. Or floor to nearly ceiling, <laughs> I should get that right. It's got the isolation fuse switches above it. And into the bathroom, six feet long. The countersunk sink there, that's not that easy to say actually, countersunk sink. The uh, loo is a Thetford cassette C200, there's four cassettes on board actually. The shower cubicle is tiled with a curtain, light above it. There's one of three radiators you can see on board. The central heating system is a diesel fired Ebersbacher D5W. Right, the bedroom's the last cabin, it's a fixed Double bed, six foot three long, four feet wide, but it does extend to four foot ten inches. We haven't got the infill for the extra ten inches, but that's easily acquired if you wanted to widen the bed. You can actually still just walk 
walk down it when it's extended. Those are the two lights that aren't LED, those reading lights. And the one in the galley. Cupboards above the bed. Quite a sweet little, I suppose, dressing area here. A bank of four drawers there. And on the other side of the boat, there's a very good size sort of shelving cupboard, I suppose you'd call it. And then the electric is in here. There's, there's an inverter. It's a two and a half kilowatt pure sine wave inverter. There's the solar controller. The brand of the inverter is Sunshine. Not one I'm familiar with, to be honest. And out onto the back deck. This is huge. Seven feet five inches long. There's a storage box at the back there and something to sit on. There's the view from the helm. And the engine's in here. It's an Isuzu 33. PRM 120 gearbox. The batteries are in here as well. There's 510 amp hour domestics and one starter there. Only about two years old. There's also a Victron battery monitor with the boat. And there we go. She's got landline hookup. Two 70 amp alternators. Insulation is, well, I've put spray foam, but we haven't seen it. A boat of this age is usually spray foam, particularly Liverpool boats. And she's got um, she's got an anchor and chain on board and all the other necessary bits of equipment to turn the key and go. Back through the galley. It's got a nice feel. It's quite nicely compartmentalised, I think. As with most Liverpool boats, but 55 foot boat, you can go anywhere. She's got everything on board. Nice cruiser stern for social side of things. Oh, hot water I haven't mentioned. That's heated by the engine, the Eberspacker, or there is an immersion heater on board as well. So there we go. That's good way. For further photographs and fully downloadable colour brochure on the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.